Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 52, verse 9. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord Yahweh El Shah has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakudash. The Wadi Yahusha, Yahusha, for giving us apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve the honor rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki, I'm pushing the word in sincerity and in truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, all by D chip to the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hit the slaves of America. Simultaneously to the chariots of the Lord, the hopeful elect to the chambers. Simultaneously to the chariots of the Lord, should blaze the beams of the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out a lot at the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place built, you know, that Sodom, Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customers that have taken the fall. Um, right now the time is 2.46 a.m. in the morning, um, November 19th, 2023, the hopeful year, all prophecies come to pass, and, oh, uh, lock you. Um, and it's on its course, this is why we are, um, breaking forth and singing for joy with these comforting words the words have comforted me and um my job is to utilize the words to comfort others and um another thing i find fascinating in doing this work is that it's um it's um making a way for yabba shiram shah it's um he don't need us to do it, but he can do it himself. But the um the how, how you say it um it's just coming to mind. I'm just trying to put these words together. But the I'll just say it like this: the wonderful part of doing of this thing of ours is that he wanted to proclaim his name. I just saw a verse with that. So that's what it's about, proclaiming his name. You know? So that's what you have us doing, proclaiming his name. All right, so, wow. And, um, so like I'm just reading so many verses, it says this can go any direction. And he's gonna be our redeemer. Okay, so I rather tell the Lord to take the course of this video. Alright, so let's get back to this one here. Cause I've just seen so many verses. Alright. So uh, let's read this verse again. Alright. And our job is to preach the word. And that's the headline of these verses that I'm that I'm, I came forth right now. And that's the only way he's going to protect us, man. If we do his will, and um, he's going to protect us, man, because we are we are um, we are sinners, man. And we're coming out of this world, and we um, we need um, we need protection from this world, because <laughs> this world is mad at us for coming out of it. People you know, people that see you, they mad, they pissed. But these words have um has um healed us. You can feel the difference. It's a difference. Trust me. Sometimes you know um we came out of elements and stuff like that. So we learned to we learned to take care of our health. We learned the dietary laws. You know, and this helped us on the way. Cause some people say, you know, I look, at, I look at my old pictures, 
And I, I look a little fried, burnt out. Now I'm a little more, you know, more, um, a little older now, so I look a little more cleaner. You know, I remember one time this individual I seen, I ain't seen in a long time, he said, damn, you leave a, you leave a job, you look better. <laughs> you know, it's all about health, you know, and the first thing that you need, we, um, that needs to, uh, Heal you is these comforting words of Yahweh Shem And that's where we at right now. You know. Even though you could have damaged yourself in this world. But. But right now I was looking that. You got a. Better chance now. Because you know the truth. Alright. So that's what we're doing. Um, Isaiah chapter 52 verse 9. Break forth into joy, and that's what we have. That's what I've done. I break forth into joy, you know. Some, you know, some it be joy of laughter, joy of tears, because of this truth, man. What I've learned in this book. Right, I just had. A, I just had right now before I woke up, and I was, you know, I was dreaming about a crazy dream. Like, it was like it's. So I saw so many people I ain't seen in so long in this dream, and I and that their face was clear, and I know it was them because I said their name as I approached them. You know, it was like a, it was like um, re um, meeting them again or seeing them in, in such a long time, in such a long long time. And I was telling them, how you doing, you know, just you know, just right now, just striking the conversation didn't mean it, but. I truly believe dreams like that mean something. You know, you're going to meet people on this, um, you're going to meet people again and go see them again. We're going to meet people again because we, we, we all connected. And it was all Jake. It's all Jake. I said it by name. I said their names by it. I said, I, I spoke to them by it. I called them by their name. You know, they, the worldly name they had, you know. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you know. And actually, how you been? It was comforting to see them. That's what that's what came. This video came along because I was oh, they was happy to see me. It was comforting them with words. Oh, you looking great, huh? You man, damn, been a long time. And that's how this video came along. And um, I woke up, you know, kind of like um, in joy. You know, they, they were telling me thank you for all your work. You know. You did a great job. And I was like, wow. And I was like, you're welcome, you're welcome. And I was like, you know, it wasn't me. Sha watch me, Sha. You know? And that's how, um, when I first met Apostle the Hall, he said the same thing to me. And I thanked him, like, he said, it wasn't me, it was not me. He said, it wasn't me that called you, it was Yah watch me, Sha that called you. Thank you, Yah watch me, Sha. So that was very powerful. So. Oh, for, for you know, for my apostles on down, they've been out there. You know, they elders. I'm a building. I'm a building. He was out there, and you know, all the way now, we out there. So that's what we break forth in joy, sing together. You waste city. We are wasted, man. We are waste city of Jerusalem. We are Russia. Over there, man. They over there in that land, right? And they're not. Really about that life, man. They they are terrible people. To, to be about that life, you gotta be righteous, man. You gotta be able to judge with um um with righteousness, man. You know, and it has to be one hundred percent righteousness. To, to how you gonna, you know, righteousness could make it make you um give a a a, a righteous judgment or a guilty judgment. You know. Cause you, Cause you know right and wrong. If you wicked, you you gonna always do wicked shit, man. You're not gonna judge righteously, cause you gonna make sure it fits you. That's what they doing over there, man. They evil up there, man. That's why if we were supposed to be, if that was, if we was there, and and 100 righteous, it would be no more that death. There would be no more death for unwrongfully death. You know, every day it won't be no, oh no, it won't be no unwrongfully murders. You know, you be they they be murdering people, man. They murdering women and children and stuff, man. They don't care about you. At first, they would love to, 
it was I don't know who it was, but um, it's a man that says I would love to get my hands on them. You know, they would love to get their hands on us. Uh, hey man, I was outside, man. I'm telling you, bro. Like this guy, he just was this Edomite man. He was just looking at me like he just wanted to destroy me. He was an older guy, man. Like a like like probably like seventy or something. Like you could tell he 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 hate you could tell he hate Jake, man. How he looked at me. I'm telling you, man. They out there, man. They still they, and they taught their young ones, you know. They taught the younger ones, and and they ride around with these Confederate flags and shit, up way in the in the cut, you know. They out there, bro. They out there. This will prove that um the scriptures is accurate, you know. So, but it's our turn is now. Our turn is coming. We preparing the way for for y'all watching me on shot. We preparing the way. I just seen that verse. Yeah, this is this is good Titans, man. This is great Titans, man. Not just good, great. Um, I see something. I just read a verse. I think it was this chapter. Yeah, it was this chapter. All right, hold on. I'm gonna open up this chapter again. I'm gonna I want to keep that one. Hold on. Let's go back down here and finish this verse. Alright. It says, Break break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord Yahweh Shah has comforted his people. And we have been comforted, man. These words have comforted me. It has made me feel it relaxes me, it relaxes my mind. And I you know, I understand it's clear to me now. It's clearing up. It's more, it's more edifying, and um, it has made me make wise wise decisions on my journey to perfection. To being as perfect as the as the as the law, you know, the law of Yahweh Shemel Shah is perfect, and we're gonna be if we get all these if if the Lord get downloading us and we like He said He gonna do, we're gonna be perfect. We're not perfect now. I read that. I love that verse now. It's like a verse that sticks out of my head on um, um, Psalm 19, verse 7. The law is perfect. Converting the souls, man. All right. All right, hold on. I want to open up this chapter again. Just to get back to it. I want to come back to that. It's the same chapter. Just in the spirit, man. I, I just, um... There was a verse in here that um in the headline reads for this chapter the exaltation of the afflicted of Isaiah chapter 61. So that's where this verse came from. Alright. Alright, this is um Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah is upon me because the Lord Yahweh Shah has anointed me to preach good tidings. Unto the meek, man. And that's what we do, man. And and I tell you, this dream was like it was just like people I ain't seen so long. They was thanking me. Oh, you did a great job. And I was like, I was like, it wasn't me, you know. But you know, I shook his hand. I just thought it wasn't me. It was the Lord, you know. And um, and I was just so many people I didn't see in so long. I they they right now I don't know they they was. Either they pass into the spirit world or they were just old right now. You know? So, you know. All right. He has sent he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and the opening of the prisons to them the prisoners prison to them that are bound and that's what we're doing we're doing that in a spiritual way we open in their minds it said tell the truth um, the truth will set you free and that's what's happening the truth has set me free mentally spiritually but you know physically we still trapped here you know 
We, um, but the Lord said he's going to get us. He's going to break us out, man. He said he's going he's to take us out of here and put us in our land. That's what he said. And that's what the scriptures is clarifying. What he said. He said he's going to stick to his word. Okay. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah. And his year is in. It's almost, it's almost here, man. Like this, this is about to be, this could be, the next year could be his year. But it can't, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, this, this place ain't gonna be here forever, man. You could see it in it. Because they don't know, they scrambling. The elite of this world is scrambling. They don't know to do what's next. Because they see all this blood. All these stories is coming out about how all these um, UFOs, or dark skinned brothers with afros looking like Jay, looking like us, dark skinned, right? And um, they say, oh, um, <laughs> what the old man say? Said they were black, tall, seven foot tall. Oh man, they're gonna kick our butt. <laughs> Yo, Ashashua is terrified, man. And they look like that. They out there. They look like that. They are terrified. Man, they are terrified of us, bro. Even on a regular, regular day, man. Yo, you go to the supermarket, they are trembling. They are. They These people know. A lot of people know stuff, man. These people, they know how to fucking read. They just, they, they have dreams. <laughs> I'm telling you, they out. They know. They watching news too. Some people watch um, um, a lot of stuff. People, people in these woods out here in these woods, man. People got telescopes. You know, they got, they got um, they they don't spend money. I know these people out here. This place um, this guy he got a big ass place, man, and he got a lot of lit literature. You know, they out. They know stuff, man. Don't think that, you know what I mean? What it says, um, they are wiser than Daniel. Something to the fact like that. Uh, in verse 2, Isaiah 61, verse 2. Proclaim, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh Yahweh Shah and the day of vengeance of our power, Yahweh Yahweh Shah, to comfort all them, all that mourn. And that's us, we mourn it. And, and our apostles have comforted us, man. I've been comforted, man. All right? And I know the men, of, other men of the Lord have been comforted, too. You know? These words has um, soothed the, the, the mourning in me. Like, you know, you know, every day you can read. That's why it's every day. That's why it's daily. Because you can't. It's going to be very difficult. To, you know, even if you like. You know, you, you watch other brother videos, that's comforting. And then it makes you meditate on what they put together, their videos, and then you go over it and you go you go um um you go listen to other videos and then you go read the scriptures and you find something you should bring out comforting. And I've been comforted. You know. For especially in those days when I was going through it, it was um I do believe it was a test. Um, when it happened, I was like, "Wow, you know, you know, my my vehicle got jacked, and all this was happening, and it, I was losing. I was, you know, I couldn't make no money, wasn't making enough, whatever, whatever I was dealing with, I had to deal with. It was that was the Lord, the Lord telling me, all right, don't worry about nothing else. That's why I kept hearing, don't worry about that, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. That's nothing. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that." And that's how it works. And and as it as it um digress, it started. I started feeling great. It started when I, when it was the pure the, um the unpure stuff started falling off, and I just I felt much better because I was doing a lot of just just throw it out there. You know, I was fasting a lot, eating less, going through it, dealing with it, bearing my cross, and the Lord took care of me at the end of that. You know, the scriptures. I didn't, if I didn't have the Akium, I would. What would I be doing right now? Like seriously, the other brothers for the apostles on down. It was putting their videos up. Different videos was coming out. 
edifying videos and stuff I needed at that moment. Stuff we need at that moment, man. You know, like for example, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Say the Lord, y'all, y'all shy. And that's what I truly believe the apostles and the elders and Achim was doing for me. You know, and, and our job is to do it for others too. We got to do it for you, you know. And, and what happened, it tells you the headline reading for this chapter. Isaiah chapter 40, the greatness of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. The greatness of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. You're finished. You're finished, Yahweh Shah. Sure. Pete, that was the verse I was just thinking about. Because we've been bind up, man. Our um, wounds are um, being um, 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 how you say it? Um, bombed up, putting putting medication on it. Cause we were wounded, man. We wounded, we wounded as a nation, man. We all waste, we are waste, we are waste people, man. Wasted. Cause our disobedience, we understand why. We, we disobey, we disobey Yahushua. But he has said, um, this the next verse says. What it says, it says. Verse two, Isaiah chapter forty, verse two. Speak comfortably, speak speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Warfare, who we at war with, man? Who's at war with Yahweh shot? And it's accomplished, man. Cause you know how. Let's think about this, man. Let's put this right. Prior to this. You know, as you as you go as you grow in progresses in, in this truth and you digress in the world, the more you get understanding. Right? The more you understand these verses. The more um you understand that this why this world have to go. Because this this world is is not perfect. The next world to come is perfect. That's where you start understanding it. And it and it hurts. And you know, just like Jeremiah was like, um, you know, no, I no, don't hurt these people, Lord. Don't hurt these people. And after a while, what he said, just jack these people up, <laughs> jack them up. And that's that's how we at now. That's where we at now. That's where I'm at in my mind. Jack, jack this place up, Lord. You know, get us up out of here before you jack this place up. Get us up out of here. Yeah. And that's. That's on um um that's what we have learned how um how to deal with that because you know in the beginning you like you know, you ask you know you probably ask a silly question and I tell you a lot but when I first learned this truth you know if you know the first person I ran to was my mother <laughs> I ain't gonna front um I was in the house it was in my apartment. And um, I was re I was watching the brother's video, you know, the elders, the apostles, and the elders on YouTube. And I left my house, went all the way to my mother's house, and come my mom, my mom had the Bible in the house. And I asked, I said, Ma, you didn't tell me this was in this book. And then, hey, that was that was that was an amazing moment. Cause learning learning this truth was um it was amazing, man. It was it was very it's, learning speaking understanding and and it's no um to, it's no it's not gonna be easy. It's go it says the scriptures the the, the verse it says much tribulation to enter into the kingdom, man. With much tribulation to enter into the kingdom, and we're not gonna be getting here with flowers and candies, man. It's gonna be bloodshed out here, man. But we learned this, man. This is what we learned, man. You think people, they, people, they hate you, man. These people out here hate your guts. And you know what? Um, to the spirit, y'all me out shop. We don't have, we don't have good feelings for them either, All right? Because we know they evil, they evil to our world. We, they evil to, they evil to themselves. They evil to themselves. 
If there was good people, the earth wouldn't look like this. Yes, we're gonna yes, in our kingdom we're gonna have slaves. But we're gonna learn how to treat our slaves, man. You know? We're gonna go off, we're gonna kick you yeah, we're gonna kick you right up your rear because uh you shouldn't you shouldn't be breaking our power's law, but you know what? We how you expect us to judge you? So hey. <sighs> Like I said, um, I woke up. This verse jumped in my mind. This 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 verse right here jumped in my mind first. <clears throat> it's um, Isaiah forty because um, because of the dream. It was just I was just naming people names. I just they, I saw they, I saw a lot of people faces, a lot of people. I up to my, you know, I wasn't sleep that long. But you know when you go to drink when you sleep, it seems like you be sleeping for days. You could, it's like it's like another realm. Like I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but like it seemed like you be there for a long time in your dream. It seemed like a lot happens within um the murder period of time you sleep, and I wasn't sleep that long. What time it was? It was like I think I fell asleep probably like uh. call it maybe um at least nine or something and i woke up like probably like 12 that seemed like a, like days like how much it was like days when i was in that dream days and months or something that's how many people i've seen that i ain't seen in so long it's like another realm dreaming is like another whole other realm a lot of stuff can happen in one dream you know so, um, just to say, um, I've been comfort too. I was comfort. They was out there was telling me, thank you, thank you. I was like, it wasn't me, it was the Lord. You know, we got by Sharon Shy. Uh, you did a great job. You're doing a great job. Like, man, I was like, oh, man. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received of the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah hand double for all her sins, man. And we did, man. You understand that we want the, the Lord's going to get us up out of here? <clears throat> the Lord's about to um get us up out of here, bro. Rightfully, man, I, hey, we need this, man. We need to get up out of here, bro. <laughs> I was just, I'm just saying, man, like, y'all don't, if y'all not, if, if, if y'all don't see that we supposed to be away from these people or in a safe haven, you out of your damn mind, man. Because I cannot function in like another, if they say we got to do this for another three years, I, Abraza, the Lord coming in a few years, what, how many years, three years. But, man, we ain't gonna, we gonna really, nothing we, you know how many people will lose faith? It would be bad. <laughs> That's why I would hope and pray that it starts, like, tomorrow. Just speaking as a man. Because there's a war going on, bro. This is some serious stuff, man. These people, they, after they get finished with them, they're gonna be coming for us, man. They don't want, I'm telling you, they got the secrets, bro. That's why we need y'all by Shemel You know, it's just, it's, it's um undeniable how much we need Yahweh Shem El Shah. Cause this warfare that whew, that was set upon us, bro. And the scripture said it's over. So I truly believe that it's over now. I think that this is the end. That after this right now ain't gonna be no more um wars on the earth. Ain't gonna be no more um because who the hell gonna, how the, <laughs> listen here, man. What are you able, what are you gonna be able to do to a man, to men that can walk on air? <laughs> what are you going to be able to do to, a, to men 
who can walk on air. Hmm? What are you going to be able to do? That's not impossible with Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Because our king, Yahushua, walked on water. And the faith that Peter had, he did a little walking on water too. He, 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 lost, he lost faith. So, no. I truly believe this, our warfare is accomplished. And I think it's going to, maybe next year, maybe a year, maybe one more year, maybe two more years. I don't know. There's got to be a lot of, some lots of bloodshed that's got to happen. But I brought this out. I, I be I endure to the end. You know? That's why I'm looking at it. At. I'm looking at it as, um, uh, I had another video I wanted to do before I went to see. I had to think, you know, I got to, I got to write this stuff down. It's so, um, it comes to my mind so fast. And, I'd be amazed how much thinking I, um, I'm, I'm, it's clear minded. I could think of all these wonderful things that's come upon me, and I've been comforted, man. So, so like, I'm over here just running my yapper, and um, yep. All right, so let's go back to this one here. So, the Lord has, um, he has, um, he has changed, um, our garments, right? He have, he have, um, he, when he told us that what we were about to accomplish, we got to wait on him to do it. But since, um, how did, um, the brother said, he said, um, the wait is longer than the ride, so we got to wait on him. The, the wait is a little long, but when we get on this ride, the, the, after the ride is over, we waiting on the line to get on the line, the ride. And once we get on the ride, it's going it's, it's shorter than the wait, because you know you go to carnivals, and you be waiting on the line, waiting and waiting to get on this one ride that's gonna go last for however long. But it's it's accurate. Right. Um, so we're about to be up out of here, man. These days um, are short. The Lord has shortened the days. So, Salakia, man. I'm just, it's just so much happening. You know, you know, when you wake up and you're trying to get all your thoughts together, and then when you get finally get one, you get one in. It's just, it's not the way you want it to be, but it's, it's the spirit. All right. So, Isaiah 61 verse two proclaim. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And that's what we're doing. We're proclaiming his year. He's coming. And the day of vengeance of our power, Yahweh Shah. To comfort all that mourn. And we that's what we're doing. We're comforting those that mourn. To a to a point unto them, to a point unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. See the Lord is about to change our garment right here. This is he gonna change out what we Beauty for ashes. He's gonna change us up. The oil you of joy for mourning. The garment of praise of for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord Yahweh Shah, that he might be glorified. And that's what I was the point I was trying to get before. That we might, we gotta glorify Yah by Shemel Shah. That's where we at. This is about glorifying Yah by Shemel Shah. Right. And that's why um, our pop, my pop, you know, our apostles from Apostle Hall, when he told, you know, when he said that to me, he said it wasn't me, it was Yah by Shemel Shah. As when I woke up, I thought about him at that moment because that's what he told me. You know, when I first, first met him, the first day I met him, I was just standing there on 34th Street, and when the camp was over, I just went up to him and shook his hand. I just wanted to tell him thank you, and he told me, um, no, it wasn't me, it was Yahweh Shah. Yeah. So,
like I said, y'all people will be talking shit like he's some um, man that like, he's taking the glory for something. Nope. You know, it could have been any. That could have went anyway. Direction. If, if, if he if he was a wicked man, that could have been like, yo, shut. He'd have been like, yo. He would told the other the eldest brothers out there, back him up off me. <laughs> yo, shouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's my glory. Man, he ain't do all that, man. He's a he's a man like me who wants salvation. And he's one of those men that's gonna get it. I truly believe the Lord's gonna give him. When he gonna be, he gonna be right there by Yahweh, by Yahweh, by Yahweh, and the rest of them, the rest of the elders and apostles. I truly believe that, cause he woke a lot of men up to um, to this truth, man. He's gonna be like the firmament of heaven. He's gonna be a superstar, and I brought this. That's why I say like, I truly believe that you. This is what you're supposed to be doing, man. You ain't supposed to be trying. To, the vengeance is not yours. The vengeance is Yahweh Shem Yom Shah. You know? Vengeance is Yahweh Shem Yom Shah. And we are jacked up as a people, man. And we are, um, and we, our, our garment has been changed and beauty has been put upon us, man. And this beauty is this truth, man. You know? So like I ain't mean to ramble so much, you know. I try to, you know, you know, you be trying to, I be trying to do it how I want it, but, but the spirit of Hashem always take this course. That's right. You know, all right. So let's go back to um, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter um forty. But this is why this is where I really um the greatness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The greatness of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And that's what we're doing, man. We speaking um comfortably to our people, man. Right? Thank the Lord for this for this truth, man. Okay, so like we're gonna end it with this. The why y'all about Shmuel Shah? For this wonderfulness, who would have knew, man? Like it's like it's like I truly believe that how the scripture said that we were blind. You know, there's another verse, but um. I can't remember how it went. Just came to mind halfway. But um we had we've been we've been the spiritual veil was over our head and now it's been taken off and we able to see everything. Isaiah chapter three verse ten Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat of the fruit of their doing. Can't go around that. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah, Bashim Kakutash. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.